uh, or but rather just seen for the benefit that we bring. How today's high-skilled immigration system works and how to fix it. The best and brightest come from around the world with big dreams to build and invent and then get stuck. Congress has failed to substantially update our high-skilled immigration system since 1990. That means entrepreneurs and companies are trying to create jobs in a framework that existed before the emergence of the World Wide Web. United States universities act as a magnet for talent. Foreign-born students coming on an F-1 visa are a large portion of our graduate students getting the best education in crucial fields. 70% in electrical engineering, 63% in computer science, 60% in industrial engineering, and 55% in economics. Foreign students can work in the United States under what is called the optional practical training for one to three years depending on their major. But what happens next? But then when I went through the H-1B process initially, the first time I did it, uh, I was not selected in the lottery. What is H-1B? H-1B is a temporary work visa that incentivizes the best and brightest to come here as doctors, teachers, scientists, researchers, engineers, entrepreneurs who have new ideas. For every 100 H-1B workers, an additional 183 jobs are created for native-born workers. Increasing the amount of H-1B visas could add around $158 billion to our economy. But the H-1B visa is subject to an arbitrary cap each year. Last year, 70% of applicants lost the annual H-1B lottery, meaning thousands of talented immigrants were kept out of the U.S. workforce. So an employer should interview you, file for an LCA, which takes another month, and then after you get an approval, have to file for an H-1B transfer without premium processing, which takes somewhere between four to eight months. It's a simple question. How many employers would want to go through that process? From the time of the interview to the time of the candidate shows up at work is somewhere between nine to 11 months. That's almost a year. We need to crack down on bad actors exploiting Congress's failure to fix the immigration system so we can both protect American jobs and bring in the best and brightest to fuel our economy. What about immigrants who want to start a company? America has a long legacy of encouraging innovation and entrepreneurship. Highly successful immigrants have had a major impact on U.S. economic growth. 40% of Fortune 500 companies were founded by immigrants or their children and half of the so-called unicorn startup companies, each valued at over $1 billion, were founded by immigrants. And if we want to stay competitive in our increasingly globalized world, we need to encourage this kind of entrepreneurship. But today, if you want to start a business as an immigrant, your options are slim. Unfortunately, there's no startup visa that provides a way for foreign entrepreneurs to start companies and create jobs here in the United States. The biggest challenge was in two periods of my life. One was uh, after college, because uh, you only get the OPT if you work for a company, and I wanted to be an entrepreneur. So if you don't have a company that sponsors you, you can't really be in the US with the OPT. So um, uh, not understanding that there's actually no option was kind of a shock and was, was hard. We need to fix this. One fix and expand the broken, outdated H-1B visa. Two, eliminate the green card backlog. And three, create a new startup visa, which doesn't exist today for aspiring entrepreneurs. Join us, and together, let's fix our immigration system.